Hey guys, this is Sarah's Knight, finally back with, uh, Let's Play the Evil Within, the uh, Consequence. Just in the last week, first it was trying to recover from a sinus infection, and then, just as I was recovered, I was called into work all weekend to cover somebody else who got sick. Actually, funny thing was, he wasn't a matter of being sick so much as this guy threw his back out and was in such pain he could not come to work for uh, two straight days and when everybody on his crew asked while I was there <laughs> you know covering him I was like I don't know Logan said he threw his back out or something and then uh, the uh, girl I used to have a crush on <laughs> who worked on that crew she goes I don't know I think she deliberately took it wrong just just to tease me she deliberately took it wrong and then like <laughs> called up, texted Logan, and was like, hey, Will said that someone threw your back out, you know, as in, like, he was getting banged. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that was the joke. I was like, no, I said, you threw your back out or something. I just don't know. I didn't know exactly. I said, or something, like, I didn't know exactly what it was, and she turned that into, someone did it. Ah, good times. Anyway. I'll find some way to get her back for that. Meanwhile, let's worry about... Uh, that appears to be the Administrator's Shadow. And, uh... Okay, just as I thought, I know I didn't... I turned my back for a second, so I wonder, wait, did the elevator actually go down another floor just that quickly, so I've emerged somewhere else? But no, that is the same place I came from. I just couldn't tell at first because it was super dark from here. Okay, that shadow that's not moving is really creepy. Oh, wait a minute, uh, I came from this direction in the very, very first place, but it's been a week since I was last on this, so, you know. And still, no gun. Oh hey, there's Sebastian, uh, in that one fight that really threw me for a loop quite a few times. I, I must have tried at least 50 times over to get through that section when I was doing Akuma mode very recently. Mainly because over here where Julie's looking at right now, there was a sniper. I forgot that there was a sniper that appears way off on the next battlefield and kept sniping Sebastian, so I actually had to spend a few turns uh, so to speak. I had to, you know, do a few more game overs just to, like, trying to focus on when, if, if it's, if it's a set time or if it's random that that sniper even appears, so I'll know when to take cover. Because, you know, I didn't want to do that immediately because, well, the only source of, only reliable source of cover was right next to the elevator where those guys kept pouring out, so... I mean, and if you die in one hit, you definitely don't want to be standing, you know, standing that close when they come out, so. I mean, lived up to its name. It was definitely hard. I really had to come up with a very specific strategy and rely on a bit of luck, too, in order to make it happen. Okay, I'm guessing I duck underneath here. And I'm still uh, focused on Evil Within 2 controls here. Okay, I do remember there is definitely there's definitely a rough fight here, and I did not think he would be able to peg me from there, but I guess the angle was just good enough. 
luckily it did not seem to do much damage at all. In fact, them merely slapping at me did like three times as much damage uh, as getting shot. Funny how a lot of modern survival horror games work out like that. Okay, let's look at my surroundings here while this... Where to run to? I'm gonna guess straight ahead. Oh! He got the barrel next to me, which would have killed any other enemy instantly, but just mildly annoyed Julie. Although that actually does make sense. Uh, it's because there is like an explanation for why enemies are so immediately, like fires just immediately fail to them. Because they're all creations of Rubik's and he has uh, an innate fear of fire thanks to that, uh, that incident that got his uh, sister killed and him, uh, you know, so badly burned that even his father was embarrassed of his appearance in public and locked him in a basement for years. Okay, finally, we have a gun. Oh, well, I kind of thought his barrage was going to end, so I thought I'd try to time it ahead a little bit. And there we go. I know there's going to be several more enemies coming out, though. Like, right there. I guess I'll use, uh... This one right here, I can get two of them, I guess. But not that third guy. Can I, like, stomp on you or anything? Okay, well, that, that works, too. Yeah, I did remember that somewhere in this Chapter 11 segment, at minimum, I know I get a gun to do an all-out fight instead of just sneaking around. But I also remember that ammo is going to be pretty scarce too, so I really have to be smart with how I use it. I definitely can't just shoot down every enemy. There will not be enough for that. Okay, well, can I just leap across? Oh, wait. I did not come out of this door, so... <sighs> really? I can't hold more than 10 at a time? Other than what's in my clip? I mean, that's I guess that's how Sebastian started out in the in the main game, so sort of makes sense. Uh, okay. Well, I can't sneak attack unless I have an axe. Ah. Oh good, I hit a checkpoint when I threw that lever. But that means the enemies are already coming after me. And there's no... Uh, yeah, there's no more barrels to use. Crap. Maybe I can just run past them. Then, hopefully all three of them will be piled up here, and hopefully that corpse behind me won't get up at the most inopportune moment. Oh good, he at least waited for me. Take out those other guys.
And luckily they dropped plenty of ammo. Pretty sure I shot that guy in the chest and not in the head. What's this in the distance? Okay, yeah, I had to find the path again. <laughs> There's a town called Paranoia. I'm guessing that was an Easter egg, but if so, I kind of thought they would sort of change this over here too. Something that's not, oh, that's Orion, not Onion. Oh, now I'll take on this guy for real. I'm not running this time. Well, yeah, because now you actually have a weapon. It's easy to say that when you're armed with something. And hopefully, uh... I don't remember, but hopefully it kind of works out like in uh, The Evil Within 2 in some boss fights. Ammo will just keep appearing at random if uh, you run out in the middle of it. Okay, I need to fight over here where there's more light and I can actually see her. I also don't need to get too close, or then I'll be paralyzed. Oh, I can't even shoot when I'm, when she's got me in her sights. She's too close. Yeah, she's stayed focused on me, crap. Yeah, this is, this one isn't gonna work. I think I'm. <laughs> I think I'm destined to lose this one. Wait, no. There we go.
Huh, this is actually quite tense. I have to be aware, watching where her, her light is shining, which way she's going to go around a pillar that I'm hiding behind so I don't get caught. And see, for instance, she didn't follow through with chasing me around on the right side. And I'm glad I stopped because I heard her stop. Because if I went all the way around trying to get ahead of her, I just would have ended up right behind her. And way too close to get away. You know, I wonder if I'm actually supposed to shoot her in the face, or if that's automatically shielded. Couldn't tell if that was a spurt or blood or not. He's creeping. I uh, can't believe I managed to get away from that for the moment. that just happened to be the last hit? Or did I just need to shoot her in the face once all along? Did Ruvik send you? Well, I hope he gets the message. Yeah. Message sent. Sebastian? Kidman, it's me. If you hadn't come along... Save it for later. There are probably more of them around. If you hadn't come along? Okay, now I'm a bit confused as to when Sebastian started turning into a haunted and Kidman just shooting him. Oh, what she did was shoot Ruvik, apparently. Then why did Sebastian think that she shot him? I'm sorry for putting you through this. I don't want to hurt you any more than I already have. You might try to stop me through you. Yeah, and then she left him there to die. Okay. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. So that wasn't really Leslie on the other door? That Sebastian immediately turned around and heard him through, and he was like, "Hey, Leslie, can you get it open for me?" With that gun, kid. What is it you plan on doing? What I have to do. 
No. You do what we say. You will come back with that boy, or you will disappear. Are we really doing this again, Atman? I guess so. Do you really think you can do anything to stop this? Stop, Gavin! You don't understand! We don't need your excuses, kid. You run because you're weak. You're afraid of us. Okay, I don't quite see what got me there. Was that just the wrong direction to run into in the first place? <laughs> you really think you can do anything to stop this? Stop, dammit! You don't understand! We don't need your excuses, kid. Oh! Okay, I think the admin got too close behind me. I might have hesitated too long at that last at that last corner. I'm not sure. I mean the first time. I know I ran in the wrong direction <laughs> that time. You really think you can do anything? Yeah, to I took too long to turn around. Stop! You don't understand! We don't need your excuses, kid. Oh, and this is the, uh, can't remember what the spider guy was called. It did have a name, but. Joseph, Kippy. This thing gonna run? Only one way to find out. Shit! What are you doing? Okay, well, we're a little off on the time there, but I can see where Kidman came from at that last moment in the main game. But I think Sebastian did spend a little more time than that, following Leslie through the um, warehouse full of flammable gases and doll parts. Fuck this place. Yeah, I agree. Okay, guys, well, since that's the end of part one of chapter two, um, or the end of chapter three of four total, if you count all the chapters across both parts, whatever. Yeah, that's probably a good place to end it. I'll see you next time.